And now it is time for Missions Moment with Mulberry, the part of the show where Mulberry comes out and does a Missions Moment. Hello, everybody. Our next missionaries also work with open-air campaigners, but they work in Virginia. We are going to hear more from the Adams family. You might be wondering why I have behind me flags from Mexico and Bolivia. Well, before they lived in Virginia, they lived in Maryland and went to church at Forsey. Miss Kelly went on missions trips with Paul and Carminia to both Mexico and Bolivia. So that's why we are using those flags again. Miss Kelly learned a lot from going on missions trips with the Adams family. So let's see what Mrs. Adams has to share with us. Hello boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Adams and I'm here today to tell you all about our ministry called Open Air Campaigners. And to do that, I have a special friend that I brought with me to tell you as well. His name is Bonkers. Would you like to meet him? Okay, let's have a look. Uh oh, he's sleeping. I think you're gonna have to help me wake him up. So how about we count to three and then you all shout, wake up bonkers. You think you can do that? Let's try it. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up bonkers! Oh, oh, what's all this noise about? Well, bonkers, we have some friends out here that want to meet you. Really? Did you have to make all that noise? Well, not really, but Come on, come and have a look. Ah! Bonkers, you were supposed to say hello to all the kids, not be rude and go, ah! Okay. Wait, where is everyone? Well, they're actually watching us on a video, either on the TV or the computer. But remember, you were gonna help tell all the kids about the ministry. Do you remember that? Yeah, I thought they were actually going to be here. Well, they are. They're out that way. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I know. So anyway, let's tell them about our ministry, shall we? So we go into neighborhoods where the kids are really, really poor. And we tell them all about Jesus and what he did for us, that he died for our sins and that we can have eternal life if we put our faith and our trust in him, right? And they're really hungry for God's word. I'm hungry too. Well, not that kind of hungry. They're hungry for God's word. God's word? What does that mean? Well, that means the Bible. The Bible? They want to eat the Bible? Well, they don't want to literally eat the Bible. Being hungry for God's word means that they want to learn and they want to hear lots and lots of things about Jesus so that they can come to know him too. Oh, that's cool. Well, who wrote the Bible? Well, God made special men write exactly everything that he wanted them to, to tell us how to live our lives that will glorify him. Oh, that's cool. I think I knew that before. I know. Well, anyway, remember, we're here to tell the kids about everything that we do. So we teach them about the Bible. And we do puppets. And we do puppets. And we play games. And we play, we, we like to watch the puppets. And we like to watch the puppets. And we also do tricks. And puppets. And puppets. And we love to always, always, always teach them all about Jesus. Yep, and puppets too. That's right, and the puppets really, really like to tell them about Jesus too. So yeah, I love the puppets. You love the puppets? Well, you are a puppet. I'm not a puppet. Yes, you are a puppet. Mm -mm. Yes, you are. No, you just give me your hand. Oh my goodness. Well, that's what a puppet is. A puppet has a hand to help them speak. Oh yeah. Well, 
yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, kids, that's our ministry, basically, where we go into all kinds of neighborhoods and projects and to help poor kids and kids that might not be able to go to church like you and I do every week. And that's why they want to learn so much about Jesus and about God, because they don't get to go to church every Sunday or even watch on the computer or on the TV all about Jesus. So they they get that opportunity for us to come in and do that. So if you would like to pray for our ministry, we would greatly appreciate it. But we have to go now. So bye-bye. Can you say goodbye? No, I don't want to go. Well, I'm sorry. You're going to have to, okay? Can you say goodbye? Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Okay, that's better. All right, I'm going to put it back to bed now. We'll see you guys. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the Adams ministry in Notion City this summer. We thank you that even though their plans changed due to the pandemic, that they were able to make an impact for you. We pray that you would keep Paul safe as he preaches on college campuses in Virginia. We also pray for the many people that they talked to on the boardwalk in Ocean City, including Mackenzie, Adrian, Matt, and Jay. Please continue to bring believers out for their work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.